Hello, and thank you for joining me for the first of these Holy Week reflections. Each night of this week, um, I will be reading part of the Passion narrative from the biblical accounts. And alongside that, I will be reading a reflection from this book by Rachel Mann called The Risen Dust. And I'll put information about this book in the video description below. Um, and each night we'll be hearing the Passion narrative, which for many of us will be a very familiar story, through the eyes of a character, an individual in the story. Um, some of them named, some of them not. Um, and as Rachel Mann herself says in the description, she seeks to be faithful to the spirit of the biblical accounts whilst playing around with it um, a little bit. Um, so some of them are a very fresh perspective. Um, and tonight, um, our Bible reading comes from John's Gospel. This is chapter 12, verses 12 to 15. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it. As it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Our reflection for today comes from the perspective of a bystander in the crowd. Another year, another idiot. Will they never learn? Year after year they come to Jerusalem at Passover, claiming, The kingdom of God has drawn near. God's reign is upon us proclaiming it as if we haven't heard it a thousand times before. And each time the foolish people hope, and each time their hope is crushed. I've lived in this city my whole life, and I've seen it all. I've seen them all come, and I've seen them all go. I've had 40 years worth of fiery zealots, charlatans, dreamers, small town politicians, even dangerous killers. Forty years worth of rabble rousers who've said they've got to fight, that we've got to fight to have our freedom. Forty years of the holy ones who've said we've got to find the kingdom in our hearts. Each one pushed forward by their little band of supporters as the one, the Messiah, as the one who's going to set us all free. How many times have our expectations been raised and crushed? Perhaps the time has come to face facts. God has turned his face against us. We are not his chosen people. Or if we are, he is bored with us. Or sick of us and our inviting and indulgence. And this year we have a chosen one. From Galilee. Galilee. I ask you, what good has ever come out of Galilee? A bunch of religious weirdos and fanatics, a den of ignorance and revolution, a lot of yokels whose only conversation concerns the price of fish. To see him and his supporters yesterday waving their palm leaves and cheering, shouting out their slogans, well it was ridiculous embarrassing. And the worst of it, their Messiah, this Jesus of Nazareth, entered the city riding on a donkey. A donkey. That'll have the Romans quaking. And when this fool of a preacher oversteps the mark, we'll all have to take the consequences. You mark my words. I was a dreamer once too. I wanted to change the world. I believed that God would save us. Or if he wouldn't, we'd save ourselves. 
but I grew up and realised you just have to get on and make the best of the world as you find it, no matter how unfair it seems. You have to put up and shut up and hide when the spears start raining. But still this Galilean came and grinned and waved like the moron he is, our hero for the day. Nothing good can come of this. When will they ever learn? <laughs>